Well, we will still be seeing some fall like temperatures, fall like, or excuse me, summer like temperatures as we head into today. Fall like weather arrives by the weekend. We're in a dry pattern right now, but as we keep our eye on this advancing low pressure system from the southwest, we'll start to watch rain and even high country snow lift in as we also pull in some cooler temperatures from aloft. So lots changing heading into the weekend. As you'll notice, more widespread rain really develops Saturday night and into early Sunday as that snow starts to pick up. That's when we're expecting the bulk of our accumulating rain and snow to fall for us into the weekend. Out the door for Friday, expect a little bit of cloud cover here and there. We'll see that cloud cover break up a little more into the afternoon. And Saturday starts off pretty quiet, so you'll have a good chunk of the morning and into the afternoon to kind of get outside. While it won't be quite as warm, it will at least be dry. We'll start to see some spotty showers develop sort of around the lunchtime hour, early afternoon, before we start to see that rain become more widespread heading into the evening on Saturday, falling uh, pretty heavily at times in parts of the state. And then overnight into the early morning hours on Sunday. That's when we're expecting the bulk of our accumulation. You'll notice Sunday at about 7 a.m. that snow up into the high country with rain down into the front range and the eastern plains clearing up for us as we head into the afternoon on Sunday. So winter weather advisories already popping up here for us from noon Saturday until noon Sunday. We could pick up measurable snow at least three inches in parts above 9,000 feet as much as seven inches possible there and above 11,000 feet could see eight to maybe nine inches of snow. Not all that uncommon for this time of year, but if you are planning a trip up to the high country this weekend, that'll certainly be something that you'll want to watch. Could see even a, a few inches falling in places like Estes Park. Uh, so it'll be definitely a big change for us in our forecast this weekend and Sunday morning will come with that snow up into the high country. Now for lower elevations into the front range, we're talking about the possibility of an inch, uh, half an inch to an inch of rain. So definitely some much needed measurable rain for us. Just a good indication of how much we're expecting Saturday night and into Sunday. As we look out on satellite and radar through the day on Friday, we'll stay mostly quiet again with a little bit of cloud cover. As we look out for temperatures, we're talking mid to upper 80s, could even see a few low 90s out there. So certainly feeling much more summer like this afternoon and the high country headed for the 60s and 70s. But it all changes by Saturday. We've got a near 20 degree temperature swing Friday and into Saturday as we cool into the upper 60s, could see a few low 70s out there with that rain moving in late day. That is the reason for our first alert weather day, just to make you aware of the big changes coming into the weekend. And by Sunday, we continue with those changes. Fall officially arrives at 643, the equinox on Sunday, and 56 degrees is definitely going to feel like it. In fact, much cooler than average weather for Sunday. But we rebound by Monday. We're back to average. Sunshine returns and we look pretty mellow heading into the rest of next week after what will prove to be an active and wet weekend.